Hi, this is Zhihan Zhang, and I'm going to present our work, Knowledge Aware Procedural Text Understanding with Multi-State Training in this conference. This is a joint work between Peking University and Microsoft Research. In this presentation, I will first make a brief introduction of the, of the text of procedural text understanding. Then I will explain our approach and the proposed model in detail. Lastly, some experimental results will be shown. First, let me introduce the text of procedural text understanding, a challenging branch of natural language processing, NLP. So what is procedural text? Procedural text describes step-by-step -step processes, which means a process here will be composed of T steps. Also, we have the in entities involved in this process. Entities may undergo dynamic state, uh, state transitions and location changes in this process, which is uh, the prediction target of this task. So the task of procedural text understanding is defined as follows. Given a text paragraph describing a natural process and a set of, of entities, the AI model is expected to predict the entity's state and location at each step during the process. Entity states include move, create, destroy, exist, and non-exist. Entity locations are text bands in the paragraph. Understanding such procedural text requires AI models to track the participating entities within a changing world. Here is an example on the right. During the process of photosynthesis, the model should predict the location changes from step zero to step five of each entity, water, light, carbon dioxide, etc. Since the proposal of, uh, of procedural text understanding task, there have been many approaches uh, that reach its competitive results. However, there are two major problems that has not been effectively solved in this task. The first problem is the need of common sense knowledge. Entities usually undergo implicit state changes in the process. Besides, their locations are also omitted in many cases, especially when humans can easily infer the location through common sense reasoning. For instance, in this, uh, in this example, Due to the decoupling of the entity bones and location animal in the paragraph, the initial location of bones is hard to be directly inferred from plain text. Unless the, the model is aware of extra common sense knowledge, bones are part of an animal. Second, data inefficiency hinders large neural models from reaching their best performances. Since data annotation on this task include states and locations of all entities in each time step. Fully annotated data are expensive to collect. As a result, existing datasets are limited in size. For example, the benchmark dataset ProPara only contains uh, 488 paragraphs. Moreover, such paragraphs usually fail to provide sufficient information considering the complexity of scientific processes. For example, such, uh, each paragraph in ProPara only contains around 60 words on average. This, restrict, uh, this restricts it from uh, describing a complex process in detail. Thus, data enrichment from external knowledge sources is in serious need on this task. In the second part, I will uh, briefly introduce our approaches towards the aforementioned issues. Due to the need of, uh, of additional knowledge in this task, uh, due to the need of additional knowledge in this task, we aim to leverage both uh, structured and unstructured knowledge for procedural text understanding. Structured knowledge, uh, like re relational database ConceptNet, provides clear and re reliable common sense knowledge, knowledge like web tests from Wikipedia. We propose to utilize it with a multi-stage training schema on BERT encoders to circumvent potential noise induced by web search and text mining. Therefore, we propose task-specific methods to effectively leverage multiple forms of knowledge, both structured and unstructured, 
to help newer models understand procedural text. ConstantNet is, uh, ConstantNet is, a, uh, is a relational database, uh, is a relational knowledge base composed of concepts and re relations. Such structure makes ConstantNet naturally suitable for entity-centric tasks like procedural text understanding. An entity in our task can be matched to a concept relation uh, to a concept centric subgraph in concept net, including its relations with neighboring concepts. Recall the previous example. Although it is hard to directly infer the initial location of bones, we can find triples. Animal has a bone, and the bone is a part of animal from the concept net knowledge graph. These knowledge triples can serve as evidence for predicting and uh, sorry for predicting entity states and locations that are not explicitly not, that are not explicitly mentioned. As for a challenge of data inefficiency, we propose to enrich the training procedure using Wikipedia paragraphs. Inspired by the pre-trained Fenton procedure of BERT models, we propose a multi-state training schema for BERT encoders. We simulate the writing style of procedural text to retrieve similar paragraphs from Wikipedia. We first train the BERT encoder for an additional language modeling fine tuning phase with modified mask language modeling uh, with modified mask language modeling objective. Then we further fine tune the whole model on the target data set. We also conduct a similar multi-state training schema on constant net knowledge modeling where we find another BERT encoder on constant net triples. In the next part, I will elaborate our Koala model in detail. Here we make a brief introduction to our Koala model. The base framework of the model is mainly based on the previous state-of-the-art model NCET. It is an encoder-decoder architecture with two subtasks state tracking and location prediction. State tracking is a sequence labeling problem, and location prediction is a classification problem over a set of location candidates. Its major difference to NCET are the uh, use of powerful BERT encoders, the knowledge-aware reasoning modules, and the multi-state training procedure on BERT encoders. Next, we, we explain the details of injecting common sense knowledge from ConstantNet into Koala. We first extract those uh, ConstantNet knowledge triples that are relevant to the entity and the paragraph. This is done by an exact match and a fuzzy match. Exact match checks whether the concept appears in the paragraph. Fuzzy match compares the, the BERT embedding similarity between the triple and the paragraph. In manual inspection, as shown on the right, we found that 80% of, of the retrieved triples provide direct or relevant knowledge to the given paragraph. Among them, 75% of the triples include new knowledge that does not appear in the paragraph. We use a BERT encoder to model the knowledge triples and apply an attentive selection on them. Additionally, we add a task-specific attention loss on the knowledge selection module. We heuristically, we heuristically label a subset of we heuristically label a subset of knowledge triples that are relevant to the prediction targets, and train the model to attend more on these labeled triples. As we mentioned before, we try to collect additional procedural test documents from Wikipedia to remedy data inefficiency. Inspired by the strong performance of pre-trained BERT models on either open domain or in-domain data, we adopt a multi-stage training schema for the test encoder in our model. First, we split wiki documents into paragraphs. Second, we use a TF-IDF ranker to retrieve top, uh, top 50 wiki paragraphs that are most similar to the given paragraph. Then we perform self-supervised language model fine-tuning based on a mask language modeling objective. In Koala, embeddings of entities, verbs, and location candidates are used for downstream predictions. These words are mainly nouns and verbs. So the language modeling fine-tuning 
is only applied on, on nouns and verbs on wiki paragraphs, with each token having a 0.3 prob uh, probability of being masked. Finally, the encoder is further fine tuned on target data set with the whole model. We also use a similar uh, multi state training procedure on the knowledge encoder. We add a language modeling fine tuning on the consonant triples. To fit the structural feature of a triple, we iteratively mask out its head concept, relation, and tail concept. Then we ask the encoder to predict the mask tokens using the, uh, the other two unmasked components. In order to ensure trainability, if the head concept or tail concept consists of more than one tokens, we mask 50% of the token at each time. Finally, about the experiments. We first conduct experiments on the ProPara dataset. This is a benchmark dataset on procedural text understanding released by AI2 in 2018. The, the, the evaluation target is to predict the inputs, outputs, conversions, and moves of a process. There have been many approaches in the past two years, and Koala has reached new state of the art on this uh, data set. To verify the effectiveness of the proposed methods, constant knowledge, infusion, and multi state training, we also conduct an ablation test on ProPara data set. The results show that uh, both methods are crucial to the model's strong performance. To further test the performance of Koala, we conduct auxiliary experiments on another procedural test dataset, namely recipes, which is in the cooking domain. We compare Koala with its variants and its base model, NCET. Although not devised for cooking domain, our model still outperforms NCET and other variants in predicting location changes of recipe ingredients. This further uh, proves the effectiveness of our model. So to conclude, we first take a brief look over, over the task of procedural test understanding and its current problem. Then we propose to utilize multiple forms of external knowledge, both structured and unstructured, to solve the issue of common sense reasoning and data enrichment. We inject con consonant knowledge triples into our end-to-end -end model while using Wikipedia paragraphs to fine-tune our birth encoders. The, birth uh, the model finally reaches new state-of-the-art results in multiple datasets. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>